I think it's time to do an advanced OBS tutorial that picks up once you have all the basics learned and you've set up a couple of basic streams. This is usually the point where streamers run into the most problems. I mean, there are so many things that you can add to improve the audience experience. You have alerts and custom stream labels, overlays, selected chat on screen and chat overlays, custom transitions, adding guests, custom graphics and intros, and even channel points if you really want to take it that step further. That's a lot of things that you need to know how to do. But it's okay, don't panic. I have years of experience creating live streams and I'm here to walk you through the entire process. I'm gonna show you how to add all kinds of extras but still keep the stream really easy to run. We have a lot to get to so you know what? Let's get to it! my YouTube friends, we're going to use free tools to create a stream that will look pro and offer a lot of fun for your audience. Now the best part is we're going to use one really simple tool to do it so it won't add a lot of complexity to your stream. Let me show you how we can add fancy overlays, alerts, and stream labels in one easy step. So when we start, we want to start with a blank scene collection and it's really easy to create one of those. You just go up to scene collection, click new, name your new scene collection. That way we have a blank slate and we've got a scene here. I'm going to right click and this is going to be a nested camera scene that we're going to use in a lot of different stuff. So I'm just going to rename this and I'm going to call it NS camera and and then I'm just gonna add a camera in here so I'm gonna go and do a video capture device I'll call this cam click OK that's my camera I just want to go ahead and add a custom audio device so we make sure that we have audio in there as well I'm also going to add a second nested scene and this one I'm gonna call NS game and this is where I would add the game in here what I'm gonna do is put a placeholder in here since I know you guys have been doing this for a while, you know how to add in a game. I don't want the game to interfere with the tutorial, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put a placeholder for a game in here. So now we basically have two initial scenes that we're starting off with that are just gonna be nested scenes that we can add into our overlay scenes. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here into Stream Elements. If you've never used Stream Elements before, it's a really powerful tool you're going to see that today. You're going to go up and click get started. It's going to have you log in to your accounts, whether it's Twitch or YouTube or wherever you decide you want to log into. I already have an account, so I'm just going to click log in. Then I have to select where I'm going to stream to. In this case, it's going to be YouTube. And we just connect up our YouTube account and bada boom, we are in. We're going to go down here to streaming tools. And if we go in here, you can see I already have a bunch of overlays created because I've been using this for a while. But right below that, they have a cool thing called overlay galleries. And this has hundreds of different overlays that you can choose from that are very, very cool. Now, if you play a specific game, you're going to find specific game overlays. Uh, Dota 2, Apex Legends, GTA, Overwatch, Counter-Strike, Heroes of the Storm, you're going to find an overlay for just about any type of game that you want. And you can easily find all the ones for the game you play just by going up here and typing in the search. And there we go. There's all the ones that are labeled for Overwatch. So it's really easy to find the ones that you're looking for. And then they always have these kind of special ones right up here at the top to check out as well and I really like this one right here so that's where we're gonna start if you click on them they're gonna show you the different panels that it comes with it'll also show you the alerts so we can click through each panel and take a look and see what they all have I really like this one I just think it looks cool and I'm into medieval style RPGs so it appeals to my nature this is a good one for me to show you how this works. So we're gonna click create my overlay and you can see it has a bunch of different links here. This makes it so ridiculously easy. So we've got the game scene, the talk scene, the start, 
the Be Right Back, and the end. Those scenes are already created for us. So all we have to do is click this little link and we'll start with the game scene. And then we're gonna go and we're gonna pop over into here. We're gonna click plus and we're gonna create a scene called game. I'm gonna click okay. Then I'm gonna go ahead and click the plus. We're gonna go to browser and I'm gonna call this game overlay and click okay. Then we just need to go ahead and paste that in here and put in the resolution of our scene. And we wanna control audio via OBS in case the alerts have any audio to them. Click okay and boom, it comes up. Now all we need to do is fill the rest of this out. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the scenes that we've already created. First we have our game scene. So we'll add that in and we'll move it below our overlay. And there we go, we can see all of the things. And then what I'm gonna do is add my camera in there. So we're gonna click the plus and I'm gonna go to scene and we're going to add our camera. And then I can just shrink that down and go and place it where it's supposed to be. And I'm gonna move it below our overlay and just put it right here in our overlay box. And I can just use the arrow to kind of line it up. And there we go. So now we have our camera right here in the overlay. It's a beautiful overlay. That only took like 20 seconds. And you can see we've got our latest subscriber, latest member, and our latest tipper already in here. That's all right here already beautiful we've got Twitter YouTube Instagram and discord if we want to put our information in there or we can easily remove those as well but that's just one scene we need to go ahead and add the rest of them so let's go ahead and do our main scene or our talking scene I'm gonna go ahead and flip over into here and this is the talking scene so we're gonna click the little link there we're gonna go back into our OBS and we'll call this talk and click OK. And then I'm gonna click the plus. We're gonna to go to browser and this is exactly the same way as the last one. So we'll call it talk overlay and click OK. And then I'm gonna go ahead and paste it in there. We'll give it the resolution and control audio via OBS and bada bing. There's our talking scene. And all we have to do is click the plus and go to our scenes and we can add our camera and we just shrink our camera up and put it in the location where we want it move it below now one of the beautiful things about using nested scenes is that i can fix this problem where it's not cropped the way i want it i can go into the camera and i can crop it up so that we get the exact look that I'm going for, like that. And then when I go back over here into talk, you can see that it's cropped up properly, exactly the way I want it. And we just have to move it into the right space. And there we go. So we're all set. We've got everything we want up here at the top. We've got our tipper and subscriber and all that good stuff already listed out. And so now we can just go back in here and add our starting soon screen. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that. We're gonna go over here and we're gonna go ahead and add another scene and we'll call this start. And then I'm gonna go over here, go to browser and we're gonna call it start overlay. Click okay, paste it in there. Exactly the same as the other ones. And there we go boom takes a couple seconds and now that's in there now we have two more we have the be right back and we have the end scene they're exactly the same as the three i've just shown you so we're going to pick this up as soon as i've finished adding those in here as well so now we have all of those in here you can see we've got the game the talk the start the be right back and the end we're all set now we just wanna modify these up so they fit what we want a little bit better. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back over here, we're gonna to go to my overlays, and you can see each one of those overlays is now here. 
So we can go into the game overlay by clicking here and we'll go over here into our OBS. We'll go into our game overlay and now we can go back into here and we can modify up any of this that we want. When we hover over this, we can move it around. There we go. And you can see that right here is the alert box. That's why you can't see anything here. Right here is an alternative to the camera box we're using now. It's a 4.3 cam. So we can turn on the little eyeball to make it visible and then we can move it in and we can make this one right here unvisible and that way if we want we can just modify the box it's easy you just hold it drag it over we put it there and we have four by three it's really easy to modify these so we got our stream elements up here that give us all of the tipper and latest member and all this all that stuff is up here it's already set up we don't have to mess with any of that then we have our Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and Discord down here. So what we could do is we could select the text right here, and we've got YouTube, Twitter, and whatever else we want. So what we're gonna do is go down here um, under YouTube, and we're gonna go into settings, and you can see it says YouTube. So I'm just gonna put a colon after that, and we're gonna put in our YouTube information, and we'll just come down here and we can hold down the alt key to grab just the, just the text and we can move it over to where we want it and there we go we can click off of it and we'll do the Twitter one right here and that's easy enough we just go and select Twitter right here go into settings we'll put a colon and we'll put our information in there and there we go we can come down here we hold down our alt key and we select the text and there we go we've got those two figured out and if we want to change these over here they're very easy as well we can just go and expand this and we've got discord and instagram if we select the instagram we go to settings we just go ahead and put that colon in there and put our name in there and all we have to do then is get it to move. So I find that if we zoom in and we go down here and we select on it, then we can move it pretty easily. You just have to hold down the Alt key to select it. And we can do the same thing with the Discord one. Hold down the Alt key, select it, and then we can use the arrow keys to move it around pretty easily. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and go into settings for the discord one so i'll select off and then i'm going to select on again we're going to go down here into the discord right here and i'm going to go into settings and i'm going to change this from discord to twitch and then i'll put my stuff in there and now we're all set we can just zoom out and click save and then when we go back over here we're going to notice all that stuff is updated exactly as it should be. So let's go to our talk screen right here and we can go back in to here. Make sure we saved it. We'll go back out and we'll go into our talk screen. And you can see we have the same situation here where we have our information down here. We could just select it and we've got logo under logo is our socials, Twitter and YouTube. So we just go down here, we can select YouTube, go to settings, and we can change this. And we can see that it does the same thing down here. So what we're gonna do is once again, zoom in, scroll down here. We're gonna hover over so we see the crosshairs. We're gonna hold down the Alt key to select it. And then we can use the arrow keys to center it up exactly how we want it. And that seems to work pretty good. We'll go and select the Twitter one now. And you gotta go back into layers, select Twitter, select settings, and we'll put the colon there and, that, and there we go. And we can just go down here, hold the Alt key, select our text, and then move it independently of the boxes. 
center it up however we want it. And there we go. Pretty simple. We can go here and change out this logo if we want to. We want to add a new logo. Maybe we want to add our YouTube logo. We can add it right there. It's pretty simple. All we have to do is go ahead and change the image and we can find the logo that we're looking for. So let's go ahead and upload one. So I think this one might be what we're looking for and we can upload it and then we can just select it and submit it. It'll put it right there and we can adjust the position and the style. And put it wherever we want. That looks better with our logo, but it's too small and we can fix that. We'll just go in here and we're gonna select this and we're gonna go in and big in the logo here. And we can center it up. And like I said, when it's selected, you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move it around. And we just save it. And when we go back into OBS, we can see the logo is bigger. Good to go. And you might be wondering, what's all this empty space over here? Well, I would put some chat in there and I'm gonna show you how to do that in the next section of the video, but it's also where the alerts are. So let me show you how those work. If we go over here and we go into emulate, we can see our subscriber event comes in right there it's gonna come in right there it looks fantastic I think the alerts for this are just amazing and the alerts for this work in all of the different screens as well so there it is right there so the alerts work fantastic in this overlay now the only thing that I noticed that I don't really like here is the fact that this overlays our latest member is very long and it overlays over our latest tipper. Now you can go into here and you can adjust the bounding boxes for all of these things and subscriber and member right here and you can select any one of those like if we wanted to select the member and then we can go down into position size style that sort of stuff into settings and we can create bounding boxes for these areas so that the text doesn't run over top of this. And when you're all done setting everything up, you just wanna make sure that you click save so that everything is saved and you're ready to go. You can live stream with this and it's going to have all the alerts and everything else. And by the way, it's totally free. It's easily customizable. If I don't like where this stuff is, I can move it over here. I can move it up here. I can do whatever I want. I can move this stuff around and make it look exactly how I want it to look so that it does well in the live stream and it fits in with whatever game I happen to be playing or if I'm not playing a game I can use all of these things for completely different things pretty cool there really is no other way that you're going to get overlays alerts and stream labels and all of the things that you get in this simple package for free that are gonna look this good. It's an easy way to create an amazing stream. And if you take that extra time and you modify these to make them your own, then you can really have an amazing looking stream with very little effort that's going to be professional and fantastic. And it's totally free. If you wanna be able to select chat to display on your screen when you're live, there is a really simple tool for that. It's also a great way to engage with your audience. Let me show you how it works. This next piece is called Social Stream Ninja. It's going to allow us to overlay our chat on screen if we want, but if not, it's going to allow us to select specific chat that can be displayed on screen. And this is a big thing because viewers like to see that stuff on screen so you can select it have it on screen and talk about it and that viewer feels recognized. Here is the page that we're going to get it from and if we scroll down here you can see that there is a thing where we can jump to the download and install instructions and here we go. This extension works in Chrome based but you can also click here to go and download one that works in Firefox. I'm just going to go ahead and click the link to the download and it comes in up here and then all you have to do is go into your downloads and I can right click and unzip this. As you can see, I've done this install a couple of times, so I already have a few on here. Now in order to put this on here, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go like that, and then I'm gonna drop this down here, 
and I'm going to go to our extensions panel, which is right here. And we're going to go to manage extensions and we want to make sure that developer mode is on and we want to go ahead and load unpacked. So we just click here and then we're going to go into the directory that we just did and we're going to go into that directory and we're going to select that folder and you can see it brings it up. Now I have two of them in here and if you get any errors, which usually you will, if you go in here, just make sure that that is the error that you get. If that's the error you get, it doesn't matter. It's not going to affect anything. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the older one that I have here and let me show you how this works. So this is an extension for your browser. You want to make sure that it's turned on and that extension goes up here in the extensions pile. And so we've got a couple of, I've got a couple of different ones in here, but I like this to be pinned so I can physically see it. So now it is pinned and there it is right there. We just drop this down and we can enable the extension. And this is going to allow us to dock the chat. It's going to allow us to display it on screen and it's going to allow us to do a featured chat overlay. And this works very, very simply. First thing I'm going to do is go up here and get the streaming chat dockable and I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy that link address and I'm going to go over here into our OBS. And so this is the scene that we would want that chat to show up on. All we have to do is click the plus, go to browser, and we're just going to call this chat, click OK. And I'm going to go and select here. We could paste that in there and we can set up the dimensions any way we want. So we can bring it over here and let's see, maybe a 600 width and an 800 height. Let's see what that looks like. There we go. That's not too bad. That'll fit basically right in here. We can minorly adjust it and all that stuff. The next thing we want to do is we want to go into our docs and we want to do a custom browser doc. And I already have it in here. So I called it social stream ninja. And then the same link that you just used, we put in here like that we click apply and close. And then all we have to do is bring up this doc. So there it is. We can bring it over and dock it right there. So now when our chat is happening on the stream, it will show up here and we'll be able to see it here as well. There is one more thing I want to do before we test this out and I show you how it works. And that is to add the ability to select chat here and have it show up on screen individually. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back into here and I'm going to drop this down and we're going to go to featured chat overlay. I'm just going to right click and copy the link address for that. And then I'm going to go back into our OBS. And what I'm going to do is we're going to click the plus. We're going to go to browser and I'm going to call this featured chat and click OK. And then I'm going to paste that featured chat in there and I'm going to leave this that size. We can adjust it later and I just have to figure out where we want our featured chat. So I'll kind of put it right down here in the bottom left corner. So let's see how this works. The first thing we need to do is go ahead and open up a live stream. So let me do that quickly. The first way to make this work, and this is the way that YouTube works and Twitch works, is we want to click these three dots and we want to pop out the chat. It's going to look a little different in Twitch than it does in YouTube. But essentially with this popped out, now it's going to work. So if I just type hello, you're going to see we get hello here, we get hello here, all that stuff pops up and you can adjust all the settings for the way that that stuff looks. If we go back in here and we go here with our streamable dockable chat, you got your overlays. You can select the way that you want your messages to come up, the visibility, um, you can export messages to text. You can add effects to the messages, the way they come in and out. You can add styling to the messages. Pretty much every little thing that you could possibly think of, you can adjust in here to change the way that this is going to look right here. So it could be pretty much whatever you want. You can even multi-stream with this. So if I was going to Twitch and YouTube, 
the icon obviously would be for YouTube. And then if someone chatted on Twitch, that icon would be right there. But what makes this really awesome is all the chat will line up and go from top to bottom and do all the stuff. But I can select this chat right here and you see it'll show up right down there. Whatever we select over here is gonna show up. We just click it again to unselect it. You can even see it has a really cool animation that brings it in and out. And let's go ahead and put a longer message in there. And we can even use emotes or anything that you want. I have my own kind of custom ones. So we'll just go with that and boom, the emotes come up. You can see everything looks really, really nice. We can go and select it and there you go. I mean, it doesn't get any more professional than that. If you add that right on top of the absolutely fantastic things that we already have going on here with the overlay, we're all set. You can even put this stuff in start. So if we wanted to have our chat in here, all we have to do is click the plus, go to our browser and select the chat that we already created right there. Boom. And we can put it wherever we want so that the chat can keep going while we're doing this. Now, if you don't like how maybe it's a little difficult to see, that's easy to fix. We'll just go and we're going to do a color source and we're going to go ahead and select a color. Let's use a dark gray like that. And okay. And all we have to do is hold down the alt key and we're going to crop it up. So it fits right, right in behind our chat. And we'll just put this under our chat and there we go. And we can even go ahead and take this color source and fade it out a little bit or whatever we want. We can go into blending mode and, you know, do add or subtract so that it adds a little bit of background to it so we can see it, but it doesn't, you know, it doesn't completely block the background either. So there's all kinds of different things that you can do that will help to achieve what you're trying to achieve. Very, very cool. At this point, your stream is gonna be about as professional as it could possibly be. What else could you ask for with just a little bit of work and totally free tools? Now you've got a stream that's easily as pretty as the best streams out there. It's awesome. To add intro videos and custom graphics, there are some amazing tools out there if you don't want to create them yourself. I use Envato Placeit. It's not free, of course, but it makes it easy to put intros together that look absolutely amazing. There is a link in the description if you want to check it out. And let me know in the comments if you want to see a video that shows you how I use it to create my intros and bumpers in my live stream. I also used it to create my channel art so it does a lot more than just intro videos and stuff like that. A channel point system is also a great way to engage with your audience. Unfortunately, there isn't one built into YouTube. However, there is a free tool that you can use to help you create one. If you want to see how it works so you can add channel points to your YouTube live streams, you should check this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.